Let's be real, we all experience slumps every once in a while, and for the past month or so, I have been feeling so unmotivated, so unproductive, and overall just tired. Even throughout this video, you can definitely see my energy levels fluctuate, but hey, that's just the reality of it. It is not glamorous. I hope you get something out of this video while I share some of the things I did to pull myself out of this unhealthy, toxic, and lonesome slump. <laughs> Good morning and welcome or welcome back to my channel. If you clicked on this video because you're in a rut, you're just not quite feeling like yourself. Me too, girl. You are not a little or a guy. We all get in ruts. I really hope that this video inspires you and even motivates you to take control of your life again, get back into your good habits, get back into your routine, and just start to feel better. But when I'm in a rut, it's like a never-ending circle. But we are stopping that today. We are taking control of our lives and getting back on track with everything. At 7.14 a.m., I woke up at 6.45. I made my green. I've been trying to have the first thing in my stomach be my greens every morning because I feel like it starts your gut off in a really good place for the day. The first thing being absorbed into your body is nutrients, so I feel like that's important. Pro tip, if you can't down your greens with water, put them in OJ. It makes it taste so much better. Boom. On. It's such a gloomy day outside, but nonetheless, it's going to be a good day. I'm gonna go ahead and go into town. It's a little bit of a drive. It's like a 30 minute drive into town. I need to stop by the store to get stuff to make breakfast, and then I'm going to my boyfriend's apartment and we're gonna make breakfast and eat together. I just made it to the gym. I had to park really far away because it is low-key packed. 10.49, I have a class at 11. It's called the Tough 20, it's like a core workout. So we're gonna go inside, we're gonna get a good workout in. I don't know if I'll film inside just because it's really busy. I just got done with my class, it was so good. I actually feel amazing and I'm really glad that I went because I was kind of like dreading it but then I was like commitment over motivation, Chloe. Just go, like this is why you're in a rut because you don't follow through things because you're tired. You just have to push through and do it and then you feel better afterwards or else you're just gonna stay in that freaking long cycle. Working out is such a good way to feel good about yourself and feel productive. It was only a 30 minute core workout but it killed me and I'm gonna be so sore tomorrow and it was so good. This morning was a little bit crazy and I didn't film a ton. Now I'm home and I can really just dedicate the rest of the day to taking care of me. I have this microfiber hair towel on. Um, I'm gonna go ahead and do some self care because I feel like you feel so much more productive and on top of things when you yourself are like put together. This is one of the things that when I'm in a rut I neglect the most is just taking care of myself just because I don't have the energy. <laughs> The next step in getting out of this rut for me is cleaning. I'm gonna go ahead and clean my surroundings. I feel like your physical space and your mental space are coherent. They can only be as organized as the other one is. I think organizing and cleaning my physical area will really help like decompress my mind. There's just a lot to do. This is all clean laundry, it just needs to be put away, but everything else is just cluttered and not as it's supposed to be and just out of place. so much better. I'm really glad that I took that time to just clean it. Now it's decluttered and not as stressful when I got all the laundry put away. One thing I was thinking though is I really want to rearrange my room but before that I want to go through everything, declutter everything and get rid of a lot of the things that I don't need. So if you'd be interested in that just let me know and I'll make an entire video decluttering and organizing and redoing my room. I took about 30 minutes to just unwind and relax and I'm going to go through my academic 
calendar this week and plan what I want to do each day. Staying on top of school and getting good grades is always one of my top priorities. One of the things that helps me stay on top of everything the most is honestly just having an academic planner. If you guys do not use a planner, I would highly suggest it. On Monday, which is today, I go through everything online that the teachers have scheduled for this week and I map it out according to my schedule and how I'm best going to accomplish it. Also, yes, I'm sitting on my floor right now. I feel like sometimes I'm more productive on my floor than sitting in my bed or at my desk. I just feel like on my floor I can spread everything out exactly how I need it and so I can see everything and then it's just easier. I'm gonna go ahead and plan out my week as far as my assignments and exams and quizzes and lectures and all of that goes. Mm -hmm. I've got my planner here laid out in front of me. Turn to the next week. A clean slate, my favorite thing to see. I wanna kinda give you guys some of my tips for planning, honestly setting goals. I feel like planning your academic week out is like setting little goals for every day. My number one tip would be to set three to five small tasks for each day. Rather than setting like one large task that seems really intimidating, I find that it's easier for me to set three to five smaller ones that I can mark off my list as I go and I feel more productive doing so. A way that I do this when it comes to school is just splitting my assignments up into two or three days. An example of how I do this is if I have an assignment and it has 30 questions. I'll answer question 1 through 15 on Tuesday and then maybe Wednesday I'll have 15 through 30. I feel like just splitting it up like that makes it so much less intimidating and for me that helps a lot. Mm -hmm. angle but I kind of have gone through this is a very rough draft I still have to come back to this throughout the week and like modify things as I see necessary the last thing that I think is important to do especially when trying to pull yourself out of like an unproductive and unmotivated place is to journal and spend time with God your spiritual health is just as important as your mental health so if you're in a rut i promise you if you fill your mind with the word of god you will find peace god is the prince of peace so if we just ask him if we come to him i think that that is just as important as giving our mind rest or making sure our physical well-being like our spiritual well-being is important i'm gonna go ahead i'm gonna read this devotional it's called jesus is calling they're really short devotionals and then i have this little notebook i got from target a couple months ago i think and on the first page i just wrote Lord, let this journal be filled with my prayers to you. So I kind of told God that this is not written as a prayer. This is just me dumping all of my thoughts, word vomiting onto a piece of paper. By putting it in here, I can lift up to God. Does that make sense? Come to me and rest in my loving presence. You know that this day will bring you difficulties and you are trying to think your way through those trials. As you anticipate what is ahead of you, you forget that I am with you now and always. Rehearsing your troubles results in experiencing them many times, whereas you are meant to go through them only when they actually occur. Do not multiply your suffering in this way. Instead, come to me and relax in my peace. I will strengthen you and prepare you for this day, transforming your fear into confident trust. Any of you guys are interested, you can look at Matthew 11, 28 through 30 and Joshua 1, 5 through 9. Now it's just going to be like a moment of prayer and journaling. <laughs> so much for watching today's video and staying until the end remember to show yourself grace on your low days and to take it easy do not run yourself right back into exhaustion by pushing yourself too hard take it easy and let it be gradual or you might just build up a bad relationship with productivity also just a reminder that i love you so 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 much and i'll see you in my next video Mwah.